lot of people say Jerron Ennis is in the same position that Terrence Bo Crawford was in. He's good and people don't want to give him fights, so therefore it's hard. So, you know, Bruce, you got to be understanding and this, that, and the third. I understand once you're a good fighter, it's hard for you to get fights. I said, but there are certain signs and these two are not the same. And how do I know these two are not the same? Although, while being in the same predicament as it looks like, there's something you need to notice with Terrence Bo Crawford. Terrence Bo Crawford answered every call. What do I mean by that? Terrence Bo Crawford never turned down an opportunity to show you that he was all about the smoke. Anytime Errol Spence says something about Terrence Bo Crawford, whether it be via Twitter or whether it be via Instagram, Bud Crawford showed right up, okay? And notice something, when Bud showed up, nobody had nothing to say, okay? That's the same thing with Jamel. When Jamel started running his mouth about Terrence Bud Crawford, this, 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 that, the third. When Crawford showed up on the scene, when Crawford showed up on Twitter, Jamel shut up, okay? And he still ain't answering him back, okay? When people still talking about Terrence Bud Crawford and this, 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 that, the third, what'd he do? He ran up on Errol Spence to let him know what's up and what's really good, okay? Anytime somebody has something to say about him, he on the phone saying, huh, what you say? This, this, that, the third. Terrence Bud Crawford didn't leave no stone unturned for you to question him about what he wanted. As a matter of fact, that's how Errol Spence lost the moniker of Boogeyman today. And how did that happen? Okay, he ran up on him in public. Not only did he ran up on him in public, he let him know before I ran up on you, I called you on the phone and you didn't answer. So when you ain't answer, now I'm here to see you in public. And how are you gonna say you the boogeyman if I'm chasing you? On that day, Errol Spence went from the boogeyman to the big fish. Tell me I'm lying somewhere. Now I just said this two, two days ago in a video. I said, man, if you really wanna fight with Terrence Bud Crawford, why don't you run up on him? Do the same stuff that I seen Terrence Bud Crawford do. You know what I'm saying? If you're really about that, notice, if you're gonna compare the two, compare that, okay? Crawford never missed the opportunity to let you know that these people was running scared of him. He never missed the opportunity, whether he had to call you, whether he had to run up on you, whether he had to check you on Twitter, or whether he had to check you on Instagram. He did it. Okay? He did it. Now, I just said, if Jerron, if you want it like that, run up on him. Like I said, I, I just did a video like two or three days ago. Okay? Now, to show you how accurate that was, here you got Team Crawford. They're even telling you how to land a fight with Terrence Bo Crawford. Listen to this. No brainer. Now, to the guys who, uh, and this is for Boots himself, y'all can, you know what I mean? Um, who advocated for Boots or Bud to fight Boots and everything like that. Y'all obviously are not good with keeping up with the keeping ups. You understand? Because if you really want to reach Bud, you got to know your opponent. You got to know your adversary. You understand? And Bud is a, in the ring, he's very tricky. He's very hard to figure out in there. You don't know where he's coming from in the ring. But outside the ring, you know exactly where he's coming. Straight up. Straight up. Straight up. So this is how, this how you got to do the fight. How, 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 how you do the fight? How you get a fight with Bud if you don't deserve a fight or you're not in the ring or the fight? You got to talk some shit. <laughs> You got to talk some shit. That's how you get the fight. You got to talk some shit. Now, listen, I ain't saying you got to talk about the man. Mama, sister, his old lady. You ain't got to say that. But appeal to his ego. You're an old man. Of course you wouldn't want to fight me. Is it true? No. But keep saying it because Bud's ego is involved. You have to hit him with his ego. You understand? Do we love the fight? Yes. <laughs> yes. And he loves being right. And he loves proving people wrong. These are the things you have to play on. You understand? All right. It's cool to be gracious. Definitely. But be sarcastic, gracious. Be sarcastic. Appeal to his ego. If y'all can't understand that, if the man didn't understand, like I said, you must don't want to fight. Sitting around waiting and hoping that the fight fall in your lap. That don't happen. That don't happen. Like I say, 
Do something else then. Do what Bud did. Call him on the phone. Hit him on the phone. Tell him, OG, oh, I got to have it, man. These guys ain't crawling. Listen, talk to him. He an OG in the game. OG in the game. Ain't nothing easy. Listen, hey, look, man, I done called him. He ain't doing nothing. Bro, what can you do? Shit. Can you do something? Damn. Fuck, get somebody in the ring. And you know somebody can call your people or something. Listen, man, look. Okay, look. Champ, I need you. These guys don't want it with me. I'm Listen. I'm talking you on the phone. Bro, I, I, I really think I could beat you, though. I think you as talented as you is and high level. I think I could beat you. I think I could beat you. Appeal to the man's ego. So that's what I got to say about that. You know what I mean? Um, I think that, that'll be the way to go if he really wants to fight. Is that not everything that I just said two or three days ago? This is exactly what I said. Run up on him. Make the fight. Y'all keep trying to downplay the art of skullduggery and the art of skullduggery is still how you get stuff done when you don't have the money, when you don't have the clout, when you don't have the push. You create the interest. But boxers are too lazy to do that. When Jamel got on there with hot box, this is Mike, a walking legend. What did Mike tell Jamal to do? He said, no, man, don't tell me. Look, look dead into that camera. Talk your shit. Tell him, tell him how he ain't shit. And he this, 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 that, and the third. That's how you get this shit done. Stuff still gets done like that. T.O. wouldn't have got the shot that he got if he wasn't aggressive in his media approach with Lomachenko. That played a big part in Teofimo Lopez getting to where he got. A big part. So the point is, what role are you going to play in your own legacy?